Here we're going to be going through an example using the gross profit method here to estimate inventory on hand or ending inventory. And for example here we're going to have Corporation A, they're going to use this method here to estimate their inventory for a monthly reporting purposes here. This is just on an interim basis here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be com comparing the percent of sales method here to uh, determine using our gross profit here or the percent of cost here to uh, for our gross profit method here and we're going to just be looking at example here 25 percent of sales versus 25 percent of cost here so when we're talking about this gross profit method it relies on three assumptions here number one the beginning inventory plus the purchases equal the total goods to be accounted for two goods not sold must be on hand and three here this is an important fact of uh, point here that we're going to be looking at here. The sales are reduced to cost. They're deducted from the sum of the opening inventory plus the purchases equal our ending inventory. So let's look at our first uh, case here and we're going to be estimating our inventory assuming that this gross profit here is 25 percent of sales and that's going to be our first case here. And we're not going to get into all the numbers here but you can see here uh, we have a beginning inventory. Now what I want to point out here is look at at cost. This is our cost base is right here. So we have some numbers here. So we have some purchases for the period and then we subtract out some purchase discounts here and then we have to add in some freight in. What we come up with here is our goods available at cost. This is the cost basis here. So we come up with that number here. Now we have, this is what we have to be looking at here. We have to look at our sales and you can see here they're um, uh, listed here at their selling price and then we had some sales returns uh, and we'd reduce uh, subtract those out again at the selling price here and then that our net sales would be the difference here and again that's at the selling price here or sales price we have one million eight hundred sixty thousand dollars here now this is what we're going to be looking at first for this growth profit here as a 25 percent of sales so you can see here uh, we can use it based on these sales here because our sales here are based on the selling price here. So we can go straight ahead to here to determine our gross profit and we're going to determine this gross profit here, subtract that from our sales and that's going to uh, bring our sales here at cost. So we're going to reduce it, our sales here to cost. So using this 25% of sales, all we would do is take the 1,860,000 times the 25% here, that's the gross profit here and the percent of sales, and we come up with $465,000. Subtracting that here from our net sales, 1,860,000, we're going to come with our sales at cost. So we reduced our sales at cost as we have to here for this gross profit method. $1,395,000 here. Subtract that here from our goods available, $1,636,000. And we come with up with our inventory, ending inventory at cost again here. That would be $241,000. Now remember, this is just an estimated amount here, but this was based on our gross profit here on 25% of sales. Now we have, we're have we going to be looking at here, let's say we've uh, estimated our inventory here assuming a gross profit of 25% of cost here. And that's the difference of 25% of sales versus here we're going to be looking at 25% of cost. Again, the same numbers here, beginning inventory, everything in our purchase here, everything is the same here as our, what we've done here, it's all at cost. Now our sales here, again, they're at their selling price returns here at a selling price and what we're going to get down to here is this gross profit here. And what we have to do here since our uh, sales here are at the selling price and our gross profit here, we calculated that here at cost. We have to convert this gross profit at cost over to the gross profit here at, uh, based on the sales. So to come up with our uh, sales here at cost. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to look at how we make that calculation. We can go straight to the formula here, but let's just go and look at how we'd make the calculation. So Corporation A estimated their inventory here at 25% of their cost. And we must compruce, uh, compute the gross profit here as a percentage of sales because that's what we're going to be dealing with here when we make our uh, subtraction here to determine our ending inventory. So uh, we have, just going through our example here, uh, gross profit uh, in markup on cost, we had a 25% markup here on our cost. So just going into our simple equation here, we have cost plus the gross profit equals the selling price and what we're going to be going through here is today just to see how we uh, convert here this uh, gross profit here at cost uh, 
cost versus to a gross profit here at sales. So here's our gross profit. Our cost here plus 25% here of our cost. That represents our gross profit and that equals our selling price here. So just uh, factoring out our cost here. One plus 0.25 or that would be 100% here plus 25% equals our sales price. So let's go down here and look at how we uh, determine here our uh, gross profit here based on our percentage of sales here. So again, we take our gross profit here and that uh, th this represents here 25% of cost or 0.25 and then we, our selling price here is one plus 0.25 or a, a total amount here adding those two together here uh, that was our selling price down here divided here by our gross profit up on our numerator here selling prices in our denominator so we come up with here our numerator amount here our gross profit here at 0.25 of our cost divide that here by our selling price here of 1.25 or 125 percent and this represents 25 percent nonetheless we come up with this amount here of 20 percent so that's our gross profit here on our selling price by converting our gross uh, the from the conversion here from taking our gross profit here at cost and converting it here in a proof gross profit here at selling price. We could have gone straight into this equation here, but I didn't. I just went through to show how it's derived here. So we, for our gross profit here at a selling price, we take the percentage markup here at cost. Remember that was 25% up here. And we add in the 100% here plus the percentage markup at cost here. That was 125% when we added those together here. So given the markup here at cost of 25%, we're able to calculate the gross profit here at a percent here of the selling price. That's what we had to do. We had to bring it up here to the selling price. So we would take here the 25% here at of the cost, divide that 100% here plus 25%, and we come up with the 20% here uh, our, uh, on a, based on the percentage of sales. So here we converted over the uh, uh, markup here and cost of 25% to the gross profit selling here uh, 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 based on the sales price here at 20%. So let's go back to our example here. So here's where we it, uh, had to convert over here from this gross profit here uh, uh, based on a 25% of cost and we had to convert it into that gross profit here at our sales. So we can match it up here with our selling price. So our gross profit of 20% of sales here, that was 1,860,000 times 20% here. That was the gross profit on sales that we calculated. So that we come up with $372,000 here. Subtract that out here from our net sales of 1,860,000. And we come up with our sales here at cost. So by subtracting out our gross profit here on our sales of 20%, here we were able to from our sales net sales here we were able to reduce our sales at cost here and that's what we had to do here so uh, that we came up with our 370 372,000 uh, subtract that from 1,860,000 we come up with our sales here at cost of one million four hundred eighty eight thousand dollars so subtracting that from our goods available here of one million six hundred thirty six thousand we come up with our ending inventory at cost again here at one or one hundred and forty eight thousand dollars so that's again an estimated amount here so uh, just to review here a gross profit was based on uh, initially here at 25 percent of cost but we had to compute it here as a percent of sales because that was what we were uh, looking at here on our sales for, uh, based on our selling price and we converted that over here to our we had to convert our course profit that on cost of 25 percent to the 20 percent here as sales so just go look at this formula one more time here our gross profit here on our selling price we that was based on what our cost was here our percentage we would just take a percentage markup on cost and then divide it here by 100 percent plus the percentage markup on cost and you can see here this is where we converted over we had to make our conversion because we were using the gross profit here at 25 percent of cost we converted that here to our gross profit here on sales at 20 percent so that sums it up here just looking at our example here where we had uh, two methods here we we could either determine our gross our ending inventory based on our gross profit at 25% of sales or 
down here our gross profit based on 25% of cost. But when we use the 25% of cost, remember we were had our sales here were determined on the selling price here, and when we were using this gross profit at cost, that we they didn't conform here. You had to take and uh, determine your gross profit here in sales. So you had to convert it over here to sales so it would match here our sales here at our selling price. And we did that by looking at our little equation up here to determine how we had to make that conversion. So we could have done it in either going straight to our formula here, but I just wanted to demonstrate how we would make this conversion here uh, using, make the conversion here using our formula.